Hi everyone, this is me Morgan and Brian Birch here at the Los Angeles Theater Center. We are going to see the pitch and talk to the people of the, with the pitch when it's starring the wonderful, amazing, and fantastic Paul Rodriguez. So come on, let's go and see what all the pitch is about. I'm with Paul Loudon. He's so meaningful about it and what did you like most about it? Well for me it was fun to play the bad guy. Right, because you get to do the evil stuff and, and people are sitting there and you say the words and they do this. Ooh, ooh, and they squirm and they feel uncomfortable. I get to express the, the poignancy of the negative side and what is hindering and making it difficult for Latinos to get on television. Yeah, so you are basically like one of the people who expresses the message. I like how you encapsulated my words into something even better. Thank you so much. You're good at your job. You're awesome. Thank you, and you're fantastic at your job. Thank you, being evil. Hoo-ha-ha, -ha. that was the only thing that was missing, right? Mwah ha And then, dun-dun-dun! Yes, hoo ha Dun-dun-dun! And then I could do like this. How's that? Pretty Perfect! Good. Thank you. So, by the way, how long have you been an actor for, been performing the arts? Let's see. Since I was three years younger than you are now. Wow! Three years old, my first show at the Old Globe Theater in San Diego. Well, that's absolutely magnificent. Really cool. But I wasn't as well-spoken and funny as you are. So I do my thing, and you do your thing, and we're awesome. Well, you know what? You're awesome. Thank I'm you. awesome. We're all awesome. awesome. I am here with Paul Rodriguez. So what's it like being able to spread out the message that you are spreading out in wonderful play that you are doing right now? And what do you think about this message? Well, obviously, I'm committed to this message. You know, it's a, it's a message that's an inclusive message. I think, uh, I think America should reflect its citizens, and I think uh, in television we are woefully neglected uh, Latinos, and and I think that uh, it'll change. Uh, America's a fair country, and definitely, honestly. And what do you think about all the different um, things that you've been able to do lately? Because I know that you've done a lot, and honestly, you are a magnificent actor, and as well as a comedian. Have you ever seen a Mexican guy blush before? <laughs> well, yeah, well, I've, I've been at it for a long time, and, you know, I, could, I hope to continue doing this. Uh, it's my, my life's work uh, to uh, make a joyful noise, to make a difference, and to leave the place better than you found it. That's really all that God asks from all of us, you know? And I have a question. When you were speaking about that pitch, um, what, where, what came up with that pitch? The one with um, the gang members and all of them and riling them up, and you called it gang tornado or something like that. Tornado, yeah. Well, it's a, it's a it's a spoof on on uh, some of the. You ever seen a movie? You say to yourself, "Wow, how did that thing get, ever get done?" Well, that's what happened to me when I when I saw uh, you know the the pitch. Uh, the, the pitch was about uh, making something so outrageous that you say nobody's going to invest money in that. Well, you'd be surprised. Somebody pitched, uh, uh, what is it, uh, a Sharknado, right? Uh, a tornado with sharks. It makes no sense that they're on their third show, you know? <laughs> well, thank you so much for this My interview. Pleasure. Thank you. Much success. What's happening? I'm here with John Paul Lopez. So what's your favorite part about being able to be a part of such a magnificent show? Well, uh, my favorite part... There's a couple actually. One is the message. The message is great. We get a chance to, you know, speak out, make a sound, just like Paul said. But uh, I think the other part that I really cherish is the 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 chance to work with such a great cast. You know, most of us already have a background working with each other down in San Diego and with stars like Mike Gomez and Paul Rodriguez to, you know, bring that family, make it bigger and bring it over here to LA. It was just a great opportunity and I cherish it. I'm with Mike. I think the message of this play, like, what do you think it truly is? It is uh, inspirational uh, for people to get involved, for people to know uh, what's going on uh, in, in the industry and, and to become activists, you know, to say, you know what, there's a, a situation here that needs to be remedied. You know, in this case, there's a lack of representation in the, in the industry uh, on television, and this is what this, this pl uh, play specifically deals about. So uh, hopefully it'll, it'll inspire people to say, you know what, they're right. You know, we need to do something about this. Let's uh, make phone calls, you know, call the networks, write letters and say, hey, you know, I want to see my favorite uh, people on, on, uh, on, uh, in the air.
you know. We're here with Vince Romoldi. So it's like actually being able to be one of the evil villains in this film because you are part of the evil villain corporate. I suppose so, yes. Uh, I think Harold is more, um, I don't know, I've never heard of him being called a, a, a villain. I think he's kind of abused at work. And um, he's just kind of happy. You're like to a henchman it. then. You're like a henchman. Because they're like, they don't know that you're, they're really part of the evil scheme, but they, you are. Right. Yes. I, I do everything that they tell me to do because at the end of the day, they pay me. Yeah. So, yeah. But you enjoyed it. Yes, I did. What do you, um, what do you enjoy most about your character? Uh, just the fact that he's out there and he, you know. He's just in his own little world. Hmm. That's kind of how I am in general, so it's not very much of a stretch. <laughs> so you were just like, I'm here, and you know, that's me. So kind of. You just basically took your own personality and put it into him? Amplified it a bit, yeah. Hmm. yeah. And what would be absolutely one of your like best qualities? M myself or, or Harold, or the characters? Um, well, in Harold. In Harold, uh, he just he doesn't put up with it, hmm. you know? That's a good. That's a good quality, I think. Yeah, I just don't have time for it. Yeah, you're just like whatever. Yeah, not today. Not today. <laughs> just like scratch everything on my list. Bye bye. Yep, clear the day. I'm done. I like the way you think. And by the way, what else have you done? Nothing. <laughs> that's it. No, uh, I've uh, done. I was uh, gonna say I've heard you have a, quite a resume. Oh uh, well, I have. I've worked. I've been working since I was 12. How old are you? I'm 12. Almost 13. <laughs> And you're already interviewing people. That's awesome. That's incredible. Uh, no, I've done. Uh, oh, I've done some Broadway tours. I've done um, some movies and uh, television work. Some commercials. Um, I'm also a casting director when I'm not on stage. Um, so I've cast quite a few films and television shows like ABC, Sci-Fi, Universal, um, NBC, CBS. I'm here with Joy Molina. So what's it like being able to find out the perfect pitch? Uh you know, with Paul, working with Paul, you got to just hold on because he's so funny. And, uh, you know, we go through all these pitch ideas and, and every night it gets uh, really crazy. And, you know, we just kind of go with the flow and uh, just try to make our, make our lines, get our lines there, get in, and then we get out. Yeah, and what did you think when he was, like, pitching you that idea for... Um all those people and the gangs and everything oh, I got it. and the spiders like what did you think about that what i wanted to know what your mind frame was because mine it was just like oh my gosh this is so funny yeah. i wanted to know how you kept a straight face well let me let you in on a secret the the, the three executives what, what the whole motivation for us is when we walk in we're talking and we notice that paul rodriguez isn't george lopez so we're trying to get out of there because we want to go hit we want to go hit up the sushi bar and um so what ends up happening, he keeps pitching us this stuff, pitching us this stuff, and none of us like it. And then he goes into the whole thing with the sharks and the, and the, uh, the gangsters and all that. And it's, it's really funny, but uh, uh, what, what the way we're able to keep it in is just because uh, in, in the actor's mind, in, in, the, in the character's mind, is we want to get out of there so bad. So, yeah. And then when we, when we finally get out of there, we kind of bleeds into us making fun of him all the way to the uh, sushi house. So... So you're just like, mm-hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm hmm Yeah, that's as a matter of fact. Yeah, that sounds great. Just as go as out of our office. Yeah, when you're on stage, you can't be too, well, you you got to let him have his stage. You don't want to upstage him. But in the back, that's what we're doing. We're, we're sitting there just looking out in the space going, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I noticed that. You guys were just like, uh, Yeah, yeah, uh, eyes are glazed over and yeah, yeah. But it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. You're thinking, and I think that it would be absolutely magnificent. So what was like one of the best pitches that he gave you? If like you weren't thinking that it was all like really stupid and such, and you were actually um, one of the people who had to decide. <laughs> okay, this is going to sound horrible, but you know, Gang NATO would kind of be funny to watch on television. You know? <laughs> you know, I actually want to blame you. I would actually kind of watch that. Just it's not a bad idea. Me. I'm thinking, you know, this isn't really, this isn't bad. I mean, I mean, I think I might watch this, you know, if I was born on a Sunday, you know, and I'm flipping on Netflix. Uh, Gang NATO, hmm, let's see this, yeah. So. Well, thank you so much for this thank interview. Thank you so much. It was very and nice. And talking with me about Gang NATO. Anytime. You just call me anytime. 
The pitch is absolutely magnificent. It will help a lot of people who are trying to pitch TV shows because it shows them what it's really like when they're trying to do this in front of executives and producers. I think that it will be very helpful and I think that it's magnificent that it's showing the Los Angeles Theater Center. This is me, Morgan Brian Birch, signing out. Hola and toodaloo. Thank <laughs> you.